Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Matthew Nimbley, and I'm currently an assistant banking manager working for Hamden & Co in Edinburgh. I'm delighted to be able to share my idea with you all today, and my presentation shall be structured as follows. Firstly, I will address what I perceive the problem to be before articulating its relevance in conjunction with the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. I will then discuss my idea and its key features in more detail before considering some of its key challenges and risks. In conclusion, I will then look to reinforce the idea's core benefits before tackling your questions. So, what is the problem that my idea is trying to solve? Well, fundamentally, the answer to this is twofold. Firstly, is the prevalence of consumerism, wasteful overconsumption, and the detrimental impact that this has upon our environment. For example, there are enough garments existing on Earth to clothe the next six generations of people. Yet clothing consumption is still expected to increase 63% by 2030. Each year, it is estimated that 1.3 billion tonnes worth of food ends up rotting in the bins of consumers, whilst by 2040 there will be more plastic than fish in the world's oceans. Excessive and unsustainable consumption is therefore a critical problem. However, secondly, what is perhaps even more problematic is the fact that most of us are unaware and uninformed consumers. Although we have a sizable degree of control over how we consume, we often lack accurate and actionable information on how to improve our environmental performance. For most of us, it is indeed like trying to lose weight without any scales. Critically, these two issues lie at the centre of the UN Sustainable Development Goals, particularly its 12th objective, which seeks to instill sustainable consumption and production patterns. Within this goal sits an aspiration to ensure that all individuals have the relevant information to live sustainable lifestyles in harmony with nature. Moreover, its leading organisation in the One Planet Network also aims to foster the uptake of sustainable choices as the common norm. Fundamentally, my idea for the competition shares these aspirations, seeking to implement them via the following mechanism. My idea is to introduce a Hamden & Co e-statement, built around the simple premise of guiding our clients towards more sustainable behaviour. The presence of this electronic bank statement will allow our clients to better understand their own consumption patterns, utilising the techniques of prompts, feedback and incentives to shape positive eco-friendly habits. The e-state will also be inherently educational, seeking to personalise the planet-changing objectives which sit at the heart of the UN Sustainable Development Goals. In practice, its core functionality and key features shall work as follows. Firstly, the e-statement will harness transactional card merchant data to provide a client with a personalised insight into their monthly spending habits. By utilising unseen back-end information, such as merchant category codes and retailer locations, it shall accentuate patterns and traits, whilst providing a client with a richer feedback in the form of an analysis of commodities purchased, distance travelled. Secondly, it will collaborate with reputable fintech solutions such as Yeezy or Tread to utilise an API software that translates spending data into its CO2 impact. This can be achieved via open banking and will directly tackle the aforementioned problem of the uninformed consumer, as it will allow a client to compare the carbon footprint of their Netflix subscription to that of their weekly food shop. Critically, it will also allow Hamden & Co to begin quantifying the carbon output of its personal client base, setting targets and objectives to then reduce this accordingly. When I joined Hamden & Co's environmental group, it had begun calculating our organisational carbon footprint with a view to then reporting on it. The energy efficiency of our office space was analysed, as were the travel arrangements of our senior bankers. However, what was omitted from this was our clients. At this stage in our development, it was perceived as too onerous and cumbersome to ask our clients, who are mainly individuals and small businesses, to provide the in-depth information required to calculate their carbon emissions. I understood this point of view, however, at the same time, I felt there was a real opportunity to devise an innovative solution to tackle this problem in the near future. This element of the e-statement represents just that. 
Thirdly, the statement itself will also produce personalized suggestions based upon the harness data. To achieve this, these suggestions will be populated by an evolving database of information, from the UN's Good Life Goals and Campaign for Individual Action, to the facts and sustainability ratings of the ethical consumer. For example, service station transactions would be categorized to information promoting an eco-friendlier method of travel whilst grocery store purchases out with a five mile radius of the client's address would prompt suggestions tailored to the importance of reusable bags or the location of a store closer to home. Furthermore, the e-statement's interactive nature will allow our clients to reduce their account's carbon footprint by reducing their own paper consumption. Clients shall also be able to navigate to personalized information resources such as the official sustainability report of their most popular retailer, any new or changing COVID-19 information for the area within which they have transacted, as well as the ability to acquire a heightened awareness of the potency of social media and buy now pay later solutions upon their consumption. My ambition for the e-statement as it evolves is for it to be able to differentiate between direct retailer purchases and those completed via social media platforms. If the e-statement is able to achieve this, then it shall prove a valuable monitoring tool for our younger client base, a demographic whose average order can increase by 55% when shopping in installments. When this is combined with additional features such as a think before you click screen at checkout, or the ability of the e-statement to preempt key consumer dates on preceding statements, I truly believe that the tool has huge potential to educate and channel sustainability information to our clients. However, it will of course encounter a multitude of challenges along the way, and I would aim to tackle a number of these as follows. Firstly, its personalized nature could easily be misconstrued as intrusive. To combat this, clients would have the ability to opt out at any point whilst the e-statement would be securely delivered by encrypted email or digital banking. Concise marketing would also be vital, reinforcing the notion that this information is actually already there. It is simply being fed back to a client in a more user-friendly manner to provoke positive change. Secondly, how do you maintain a client's attention and tackle a monthly disinterest? To do this, the e-statement's database of categorized information must constantly evolve. So too must its period of reflection, shifting from monthly to the last three months or from Christmas day to birthday, whilst it could also embrace themes, goals and incentives such as sustainable points or a charity of the month. Finally, cost would of course also be a concern, especially for Hamden & Co in its infancy, dealing with the notion that to be sustainable, you firstly have to be in business. It has been estimated internally that the cost of implementation would amount to around £100,000 to integrate the e-statement with our current software. This is, of course, a sizable investment, but critically, it is not paralyzing and it can be offset by the younger clients the e-statement attracts, the existing clients that it importantly retains and the reputational benefits that such innovation can bring. In 2021, Deloitte has found that 64% of people would leave their bank if it were linked to environmental harm. Whilst COVID-19 has ushered in a new type of consumer, one that has a greater sense of awareness of the role businesses and banks play within our environment. Such an investment is therefore fastly becoming a prerequisite to achieve longevity. Overall, I firmly believe that the e-statement has the capacity to significantly improve outcomes for our clients, colleagues, and communities. Fundamentally, it tackles a relatively complex problem by a simple and modernized mechanism. The form of an e-statement appeals to both younger and senior clients, whilst by confronting the concept of overconsumption, it is possible to positively contribute to virtually every sustainable development goal. My vision for the industry is one in which its institutions embrace and harness the inordinate amount of information available to them, not for commercial gain, but to innovate and instill positive change. This is a view shared by current Hamden & Co staff members, 77% of which believe we should be developing products and services to help overcome environmental problems. The e-statement is one such solution 
Canal Placentino goal of becoming a forward-thinking, socially responsible private bank, which earns the loyalty of its stakeholders every day. Thank you very much for listening, and I shall now turn to answering your questions.